Hello all, how you all are doing? Today let's get ready with me for my office. So I chose this dress to wear with blazer. So this is what my looks. Let me know how I am looking. Also today I thought of covering a topic which is very important for anyone who is looking for a job or want to do something. Also this is my front look. I thought of sharing that how I am looking. Let me know if you like my look. Now let's start with the video. Hello all. Welcome to my channel. Hope you all are doing good. Today I thought of talking about my present job. That how I got and uh, how difficult it was to get into a finance job. So let me first tell you, I worked as a financial analyst in an investment banking company. Due to my company policy, I cannot take the name of my company but I can only say it's a German bank and I work in an investment banking company. So it's among the big shots. If you are a finance student, you will be knowing the companies. So in the year 2019, I used to work with State Street Global Advisor in a short firm we known as SSGA, which is also an Australian bank. So I was in a maternity period in 2019 for six months. And when I joined back the company in the month of August, my office has shifted to another place which was 25 km away from my home and it was quite difficult for me to travel to that place leaving a 6 month old baby at home. I have a very strong support system by then. I have my mom with me who was looking after my child, also my husband, also my mom-in-law but to leave your such a small child was very difficult for me emotionally and also physically. So as the as in Bangalore to travel 25 km also it takes a huge amount of time. So my shift was 12.30 but I used to get cab at 9 o'clock in the morning and my shift ends at 9.30 in the night. I used to reach home at 11, 11.30. So morning when I leave my son used to sleep. When I come back home still I saw him sleeping. So two months I did like that then I realized I'm not able to do it because you know that emotional trauma and everything I was not able to cope up I was not able to accept that I have to leave my son and go to work I was not enjoying his journey my being a mother and the motherhood journey I was not enjoying so I was tense I was stressed I was depressed I decided to quit my job it was really tough it was very tough decision my husband supported me saying that if you feel that you don't want to continue at this moment because it's far by the time you get a new job you can sit back home and enjoy this phase so by september end i was very much sure that i'm going to leave the job but the problem is i don't have a job in hand but without thinking much i left my job by the time i left it was already uh, starting of october so I was feeling how to tell the world that why did I left my job and I was not a person who used to sit back home and do nothing. I was always focused. I know what I have to do with my career. So it was a very tough and very depressing thing for me to leave a job without having a new job in hand. I was serving notice period then. But of course with the God grace and with you know I believe in God too much. So maybe with that. I got interview schedule for Goldman Sachs and my present company where I'm working. And by fate, both the interview I cracked and again I got a job in hand before my notice period could end. I mean after putting down the paper within a week I got an opportunity with other bank. So it was a very happy moment for me that okay I don't have to leave my job and also it is close to my place as well. So December. Uh, the present company where I am working I got an offer later in the year 2020 so 2019 only by end of the year I have decided to leave my job and 2020 I already got my present job so when I joined it was a time of pandemic that time they hired me so now let me go back and tell you how my interview schedule for this present bank so when I got to know I got an interview letter for this bank Firstly, I don't know where it is. The location was not clear. But just that I know it is very close to my house. So I just, and it was scheduled on Saturday. 
so i just told my family you know that okay i'll book the cab and i will reach to the venue and i will give the interview and i'll come back home so as usual for an interview how every one of us prepare you have to look good you have to look presentable you should have enough confidence enough knowledge about the bank that you are applying for so as usual i have prepared myself and i have went for the interview now what happened to me on the way before i reached to the company the cab driver uh like one and a half kilometer away he told me ma'am this is your company you can get down here so i thought okay this is my company so i just got down when i was entering security guard stopped me saying where you want to go i told him i showed him that interview letter he said no this is not that bank you have to go one and a half kilometer then only you will reach i was tense what to do and that time i was not getting a cab and i don't want to get late for the interview because it was something i was looking for longer period of time so i start working now you know where you are well prepared well dressed well groomed now you start working automatically sweat will come you will look exhausted and that too that just after my maternity already i was very low on my confidence because of my body shape or anything you can say every woman goes through that phase so i know everybody will relate to it somehow i reached to the office as soon as i reached to the office i showed my interview letter to the panel the hr who was sitting on the reception she told me oh you don't have an interview today again it was a shock for me i was like but i got a, this letter you know saying that you have an interview she said no it is not for something that we are looking for it is for some another profile i said okay then she said that you may leave if you apply now and if you don't get select you cannot apply for this company for 6 month so i hope you don't want to take that risk obviously no one wants to take that risk so there is a rule once you apply for any company if you cannot make it 6 month that company you cannot apply it again so i was just deciding to come back suddenly another person who was uh, you know head of that bank he saw me and he understood something has happened and something receptionist has told me so he asked me what happened i said that i got this letter i was known that i have an interview today but when i got into that they told me this is not for something they are looking for so maybe by seeing me he felt little bit of you know ki okay sympathy that okay she has come and maybe i was sweating so he made out that okay she has traveled far away maybe so he said okay give me your resume let me check with the panel if something is matching to this criteria then we you can wait we can call you for an interview he said okay that's a good deal so i went back i sat down and he came back within 5 minutes saying that listen now we are hiring for different profile but it is real little bit related to your profile it is not completely matching so i will suggest you now it's up to you you can give the interview but as it is not familiar to you if you give the interview and the questions are not related to your work uh, experience or your profile you might not get selected and for 6 month you cannot reapply so now it's your call what you want to do again i i fall into dilemma what should i do this is something which i was looking forward for a long period of time also the reason this company is very close to my house i was thinking what should i do what should i do should i take a chance and immediately my instinct say go ahead whatever will happen will look just go ahead give your best shot and i told him that you know i want to try let's i'll see what will happen he said okay and they called me for an interview i gave the interview and somewhere indirectly the panel liked me and they told me that i am selected but everything i cannot believe till you get the offer letter because you know until you get the offer letter in hand nothing can be predictable nothing can be said so i came back happily home saying my family you know they have told me that they liked me so they will roll out the offer letter so this interview happened in the month of october and i told them that i am leaving my company i am serving the notice period so i have notice period till december so if you have to roll out something you have to roll out within this span of time they said okay we'll try our level best now what now the main part has come december my notice period gets over in my previous organization till then i didn't got my present offer 
I was really broken that now what now what should I do but I have another offer in hand because I had two interview schedule for Goldman Sachs also I got into so I decided to join instead of waiting here because I don't know if offer data will come because it's already two months now I don't want to take a risk so I joined Goldman again the same struggling has come because it is far away from my place that the timings were not matching again I was not able to cope up but this time I, I joined Goldman in December mid 2019 by February end I got a call from HR from my present company saying that we are we going we are going to roll out your offer are you ready I was super excited I said yes of course I'm ready then I asked them why it got so late they said they had lot of uh, interview so it got some time because to roll out the offer letter so I was happy so April 27th I got an opportunity to join this bank it was completely pandemic time that time it was COVID wasn't high so everything every setup I got in home they delivered to my home and I started working from home so this is how I got this opportunity so today why I'm sharing this because I learned from this experience that you know when you are confident about something and when you want something from your heart and you try your level best just give a best shot of yourself and definitely you're going to crack it so that day i was not looking good i was fat i was not presentable because i was working i was sweating i was stressed but i gave my big i mean best shot whatever knowledge I know about the company and about my experience I just spoke about when I talk to people I try to connect them through my eyes I just don't look down and talk whenever I talk I have a habit I, I you know I always do the eye contact which is very important trust me the panel who are sitting they don't expect you to know everything sometimes it's okay to say I don't know instead of you know making up something and telling because if you do not know, you landed up telling something which you are not aware and they will ask you more and more questions and at the end you don't know the answer. So it's okay to say I don't know. And please make sure that you are confident, you are moving your hand while talking, you are keeping a good eye contact which means a lot and you know give your best shot. That's how you are going to crack a I mean, dream company that you are looking for. So that's this job has learned me to do that. Otherwise, I never know when I left that stage street, I was having no offer in my hand. I thought my life is just going to end for a year. I don't know where I'm going to go. But God grace and with my confidence, I landed up doing this. And I'm happily I'm serving this company. Hope you like it and hope you get inspiration from this. If you like it, please share, subscribe and like. And also, there is a very good story for freshers level. How do, do I get my first job? That is also a very good inspiration for all the freshers who are looking for a job right now. And they want something, some small, small tips which they will help. Trust me, I am not, I have not done MBA from a very good college. I quote this because for me that time, I don't, I have a package constraint. I cannot opt for a college which demands a good amount of package because I have to spend, I have taken my loan, I have taken student loan. So financially, I was under that crisis where I cannot go for a very good college. So for me, I was just focusing on the good degree. Rest, I thought that I will make it. How I have to make it? I have to think I will work hard. I will make myself into a good company. That is my job. Just that I need to learn the MBA, I need to get the degree first. So I chose a very small college. If you want to know that story, I will share. But for that, I need all of your comment and, you know, uh, likes so that I can get to know that you really look forward for this kind of a topic. Hope you like it for now. Bye.